How's it going, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Fast Hands Gaming. I'm your boy, Fast, and I would like to officially say Merry Christmas to everybody, as is, at least for me, Christmas Day. So, as I said, we have part two of my three-part summoning session. Um, we are on the new account today, and I have over a thousand summons we are going to be doing today. Um, I know it says 923, but guess what? You get 40 for the first round for summoning event, and another 40 for the next round, which is a total of 80, which means I'll get a thousand summons. So, here we go. And while we're doing this, we're going to talk about what I like to say is the new Icarus meta. Um, so when I first started playing this game, the big thing was to run Zynx, Zygor, and obviously everyone wanted to run Dark, so it was either Xavier or Zal. Um, it was pretty much like that for quite a while. Um, I haven't been playing super long, but I have been playing for quite a few months at this point. And it, nothing really changed. And even when they first introduced Icarus, he wasn't really anything to write home about. No one really gave him any heed. Um, but now with the Link bonus going through, um, he has become a force to be reckoned with. And so I will eat my words and say that he is now probably become a S plus hero. He, so I'm guessing in the next up dear, updated tier list, he will be officially put up there. Um, he's just become one of those heroes that you have to run. Um, that's why I call it the Icarus met meta. Um, he's pretty much made it so that running light and dark is not really necessary. Um, he can go on any, really any team. So at this point, I mean, if you haven't already noticed, most people are running him. Um, and really, the best thing to do at this point is either you run Icarus or you run his counter, which is Anita. Um, she is light, but she's also only 200 green souls. So a lot of people constantly say, well, what am I supposed to do with these green souls? We just tell people to eat them, you know, get food to feed your team. But now I say build Anita. Um, if you don't want to build an Icarus, build Anita. If you don't want to build Anita... Build Icarus. I'm gonna build both. Um, I don't see there for a reason to be not to be running both. Um, I think. Ooh. Ah, so they changed the animation. Ooh, look at that. That's really cool. That was actually the first time I've seen the new animation. So that's that's really cool because now you know when you're legit gonna get a S or S plus hero. So that's really cool. And hey, I got an Icarus, which is guess what? I'm gonna build. So, yay. Um, like I said, Icarus meta. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're going to really focus on PvP, um, like I said, I really suggest people looking into either building him, Icarus, or Anita. Um, and I also see the meta probably changing from an, an assassin slash ranger meta to a assassin slash mage meta. Um Pastera is going to be coming out next month, um, and I believe, if I remember correctly, she is a mage. Um, and if a lot of people who don't play a lot of RPG games, um, typically mages hit really hard. You know, that's their, that's your spellcaster. Um, they have a lot of AOE damage, and you know, assassins typically are meant to take out maybe one or two opponents. Same with ranger. Um, the warrior is supposed to, you know, tank all the hits. And right now, we don't have any good warriors. Um, which is why I think Pastera, you know... Honestly, if Pastera has anything um, that gives her a buff against, say, assassins, then she's going to be another meta hero. Um, and I think that would probably put the last nail in the coffin, as you would say, in the whole assassin pure assassin not pure assassin but assassin teams um you know as is i think a lot of people are starting to not run zygor as much um i mean if you haven't noticed on the facebook he was outvoted by icarus um which i actually i'm not surprised but i am just due to the fact that zygor is loved by a lot of players as well but at, Okay, so who are we going to get? What's it going to be? Ready. Okay, it's, it's not bad if Zal was still really prevalent. Um, he's good against Zal. Um, like I said, uh, he basically can take out Zal really easy. 
which is why I go, going back to the Icarus, what I'm saying is the Icarus meta and why running light and dark for the most part is pointless is because everyone can counter Zal at this point. Um, he hits the back row. All you do is put your basically your biggest tank, your biggest butt in the back row and let it just soak up the damage. And guess what? Zal's going to die before they probably kill that tank because um, your f whole front row is going to be just dealing out the, all that damage. So he's just, at this point, if you've already gotten 12 star, obviously you're going to still run him. If you just started out, say, like you, you guys saw on my other account, I just started building him. Guess what? I stopped. Um, I'm not going to build him. Uh, because the amount of time, effort, and food, and resources to build a dark hero is just too much. It takes too long um, compared to just building regular other heroes that cost blue souls. Um, so right now, like I said, I see Icarus just being really prevalent. I see a lot of teams, you know, people were running two Zygor, I think, and I've seen now two people running two Icarus. I mean, so like I said, um, if you didn't think the meta was changing, it is. Um, hands down, either you are on Team Icarus or you're on Team Anita at this point, or both. Um, but yeah, I can't really think of anything else that's going to be coming out pa past Pastera that's hopefully going to be really good. Um, people are saying Warriors might get a huge buff. Um, we'll see. Typically on these teams, Warriors, you only want to run two. And that's if you want to soak up a lot of damage. And if Warriors become really prevalent, then I see Zygor not needing to be as prevalent in a lot of teams. Because guess what? Everyone builds Zygor as a tank um, to soak up all that damage. Now, does that mean he'll go to a pure attack build? He could. Um, I think that's probably where he would be better at depending on what the meta is. Um, but again, right now, we just don't have a good, good enough basis on warriors. Now, if we get, oh, say, a warrior hero that buffs other warriors or gives them, say, armor penetra penetration or something that makes warriors just better, then I could see warriors being a thing. Um, but right now, I think mage, mage, priest, and assassin is going to be where it's at. Um... I don't see anything else being really good right now. So like I said, um, that's just my thoughts. You know, leave your comments down below. What do you think the new meta going to be? I mean, do you think anyone's going to take be able to take out Icarus? Do you think people are just going to keep running him? You know, tell me what you guys think. I'd be curious to know what you guys are thinking out. What team are you guys running? Um, have you tried different things? Um, I think now is the time to definitely try new teams. Um you know, it won't hurt you. Uh, a lot of older players who have had nothing to do, but, you know, they were complaining, but build, you know, build heroes. Well, guess what? Build new teams. Try something new. It does not hurt to try something new. That's how we change the meta. Um, again, that's just my opinion. So, we didn't do too bad. There we go. I was expecting that. So, we're going to go through and... Well, thank you. Nope. And we're going to go through, and I'm just going to eat a few heroes so we can do this real quick and get back to summoning. Um, since I did get an Icarus, going to definitely need the food. Um, now I got, what, three S-Star heroes? Again, I tell people that you're not always going to get get that. I saw some people... You know, some people just have that luck where they can pull the best heroes and they pull them really easy. It is down to RNG. Don't think it's anything else. It's just RNG. You know, this game is based off of numbers like any other game. And sometimes you get those numbers at the right time. And guess what? You get what you get. All right. So go back. How are you guys' Christmas going? You guys get what you wanted? Leave leave uh, some comments down what you guys want and what you guys got. I'd be curious. All right, Aaron. Mm, not super impressed. Not, I, won't, I won't lie. Never been a hero I've been interested in. Yes, she's got a link with Icarus, but, you know, I'd rather just play Icarus with another team. 
And that's what's cool about it. You don't need to run. Let's go ahead and get this. You don't need to run his link to make him good. So get that. So an extra 80 scrolls. We'll keep going. Let's see here. Uh, here are slots full again. Like I said, I knew that was going to be a thing, but I wanted to talk to you guys about the hero meta and what we needed. Let's see here. So we'll just go to number four stars. Yes, I am going to build a Zinx on this account. Um, I've decided on this account I want to try something completely different. I am going to build Icarus, like I said. I'm going to keep one of him. Um... I am going to build Zinx because Zinx is still really good. Um, there's no reason not to run him. Uh, he's still one of my favorite heroes. I probably will not build Zygor, um, at least for now. I think I can build other heroes just as fine. I do plan to build Wise as he does a lot, kind of like uh, Heth, the dark hero. So let's see. We got 80, so we need to eat some more. So we're just going to keep eating some few, a few more heroes, and then we'll finish up the rest of the summons event. So if this is kind of boring to you guys, I just wanted to talk to you. What do you guys want to know about in the next video? I think we're going to talk about artifacts and what heroes need to artifacts. I see you guys asking that a lot. Um, that is definitely a prevalent question to ask. Um, we will be on my main account on the next summon event which is part three. Um, I have the tree event, so we are going to be doing a lot of uh, hero replacement. <laughs> you guys would probably be very impressed with how many I have saved up for you guys. And I really, I try, I try to make these videos as interesting as I can for you guys. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But again, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. I appreciate all my subscribers, especially you guys. Um, now, I am thinking about Going and if I get enough subscribers, maybe doing monthly giveaways. But that would require at least, in my mind, I need at least 100 subscribers. Um, if I'm going to give people uh, pri or prizes away to you guys. Um, and it will only be for f subscribers. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, I haven't decided yet. Like I said, I need to get more people liking this channel. Um, I want to bring you guys more content. I'm thinking about doing maybe monthly uh, team spotlights. So I, I'll ask you guys for your teams. You guys can give me what runes you guys are running, what, you know, why you run the team that you run, and I'll go over it in the video, talk about it. So also leave that down in the comments. What do you guys think about that? Would you guys like that? Would you like me to go through and talk about your guys' teams? Kind of give you the chance to talk about why you run what you run, what you think is good. Kind of give it back to you guys. Let's see. It should be one more and we're good to go to finish up this summon event. All right. Such a weird looking her hero. All right. Here we go. Last 20. Yep. And... Of course, so I got to eat three, more, ten more heroes. So one, two, three, four, and last. No, nope, won't work. One, two, three, four. That's eight. So one. I'll just do this. Boom. No, I said, eat the heroes. All right, so that should finish it. Um, I appreciate you guys sticking with me with this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, just leave your comments. You know, I'd be really curious to get feedback from you guys. If you guys like the videos, what else you might want. And again, let me know what you think of the meta. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great Christmas.